feel to be in here today? It Thank feels you. awesome. It, it, it was a lot more than I expected. So, you know, we appreciate the fans. This is, you know, we want to make this a hard place to play. So, you know, we need our fans to come out and, you know, support. So I appreciate everybody who did come out. You know, everybody did, and you know, it was a great turnout. Change the energy a little bit? Definitely, definitely. What are your early impressions of Drake London? Thank you. Of who? Drake London. Oh, smooth. Like you said, tall. So for him to be that tall and fast and smooth is, is good for us here. Has he come to you for any advice yet, or have y'all talked? What, what are your thoughts on him? Oh, he's he's keen, but you know that stays between me and him. <laughs> but you know he's a good guy. What's your assessment of the guys in the tight end room? Uh, a lot of tight ends coming in and having to learn some new things. What do you think about the overall uh, talent for guys you have in the room? Uh, I think our our room is great. Uh, we're we're all, we're all brothers, so we all grind together, compete together, and you know Coach Smith has done a great job. Of, you know we all schemes it up right, and we just go out there and play as hard as we can as a group. This year, as opposed to last summer, how different does it feel? Uh, I would say it's, it's, a, it's like night and day. <laughs> kind of just having a year under my belt, uh, being a little bit more comfortable, but knowing it's still work to put in. What's about to change? What about changing quarterbacks? Probably leaning to this position and being a little bit more. Can you repeat that? Uh, new quarterback to quarterback change, whoever the starter is, or should he be leaning on the tight end, leaning on those a bit more? Uh, I, I don't have that answer. <laughs> you said, would they be leaning on me more? Oh, yeah, I, I can't. I technically, I really can't give that answer. Do you feel like you're starting over, having to have a new quarterback and get that chemistry again when you'd already worked it out with Matt? Um, I think with practice, you know, that builds chemistry. So just going out, routes on there, just throwing with him after practice, things like that, that builds our chemistry. You said the meeting room is night and day different. On the field, does it feel, I mean, you were already good and fast and all those things last year. Do you feel like you're progressing and making I would say from year one to year two coming in this time, like you said, uh, just mentally trying to get better. And there's always, like I said, room for improvement and physically getting stronger, bigger, faster. Same thing, kind of uh, just blocking, mental, like I said, mental, being able to dissect the coverage faster. What's it like seeing Felipe Franks? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Felipe is a long time friend since I was in Florida, so I love it. What's your thought? thoughts on the overall size collectively of just tight five <laughs> receivers you guys have all over the place i mean we all see it it's six three so I, mean, I, I love what i love what coach smith is doing and it's a lot of big bodies out there who you like you, you and drake in a one-on-one -on -one basketball who you like? <laughs> competitive me is going to save me but knowing I, I can't really play basketball like i used to i never was good but it's i'm gonna don't let, him, don't let him know that. <laughs> I got some USC. Oh, oh, well then, no. <laughs> I didn't know he was on the team. <laughs> What's going on, bro? What's up? <laughs> Anything else? You might, you might have been asked this already. I jumped in a little bit late. Like, for you, the difference between a year ago and right now, like, where are you? Just being able to kind of mature a little more. I feel like I matured in, in a little bit of my life, uh, just on the field, off the field. Um, trying to have it all correlate to be the best player I can be. Was there a thing that you noticed when I was coming back this year? Where you were like, okay, no, this makes more sense. This is different. This is comfortable. Um, just the mental side. That just that kind of helps you play faster when you know what you're doing. You know what their defense is doing. Just be able to, you know, be be the best player you are, and not worry about everybody else around you. What was the benefit of uh, the targets and yards you got? Like, so most tight ends don't come in the first year get that many yards, obviously, but also the amount of targets you got. How do you think that uh, is going to impact this year? What did it do for you? Uh, I just feel like it was a good start. I feel like Coach Smith did a great job and you know, introduced me to the NFL, and I feel like this year, you know, will be another step. Last year you said that uh, you wanted to, for the first game of the season, you said you wanted to put a block and be a foot on the screen. Like, where are you? Do you feel that, you know, you feel you need to be better? And what do you, how do you feel about your, your that, that's the asset? Um, that just comes along with being stronger, uh, mentally stronger, uh, physically stronger, being able to beat the man across from me. So that's just an a ongoing improvement thing to do, you know, try and get better each week, each each day. So you would like to be known for an hour round, not necessarily yeah, just being a catch pass. Definitely. So a little more comfortability in year two, but if somebody who faces back, especially on the offensive side, what's that like to kind of get to know each other? I mean, it's, it's different, but it's, it's also great meeting new people. These are all great guys. Uh, we're actually we're really close, and it, we got close fast. Like, believe it or not, we we hang out a lot. So it's it's a new feel. You know, we, we're trying to bring the camaraderie you know together as a team and you know build our chemistry. Is that something that you guys have tried to do to get together outside of football? Like, outside of football? 
kind of just, you know, knowing that if we trust each other off the field, you know, it'll correlate onto the field. <laughs> I, yeah, we, you know, we go to different places to go out to eat. So when it's talking to folks, you said that he was joining for the game. Like, is that strange at this point to have guys who are doing it? <laughs> no? I'm learning from Ferk. Okay. Ferk been in this for some years, and I'm just always wanting to get better. So he's been in Tennessee playing a different offense, and I always ask him different. I ask him a question almost every other play, so I try and just soak up as much knowledge as I can. What's something you asked him recently? <laughs> That's a little too too detailed, but mm, is it though? Yeah. <laughs> well, what, what has he asked you? Because like he he literally told me he's like, yeah, I'm learning from. I learned from him. You got five six years on him. Uh, just certain things in offense. Just as a player, it doesn't have to be specific to you know Atlanta Falcons, but just football in general. You were talking about enjoying being uh, Mercedes Benz for the first time this year. Could you tell the difference in the new turf that was installed? Yeah, I like this. It's soft. It's different. <laughs> I, I like them too. Kyle, do you feel like a do you feel like a leader on this offense and on this team in general? Um, that's something that you know I want to try and work towards to being you know one of the top leaders on the team and on the offense as well. Um, just like I said, that's something that I, this offseason I want to grow into and watch behind Marcus and Jake and all the other vet guys to you know learn how to, to be a leader. So. I'm, I feel like I'm slowly starting to step in their shoes. Does that happen vocally or just by, you know, you're on the field work? Um, I'm not really a big screamer guy. I feel like I can't scream, so I, I'm, I'm not really a screamer. I'm just kind of like, at first, you know, worry about my room, and then tight ends, we, we, we're we fine, and then that's when we go to offense, and then the whole team, so just working in different increments. So it's 100 days from today to you and the Saints. Week one, does it feel like that's a long time? Does that feel right around the corner? How do you feel? <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm just kind of worried about. I'm glad we got through today. Um, we're, I'm we're, I'm living where my feet are, so we got a long time until then. So just you know, continue growing up until then. Kyle, it's been a little while since I had a chance to take a talk to you, so kind of piggybacking on his question. What are your thoughts in terms of now your second year, kind of that veteran space? What's the uh, thought on the rookies, the, especially the rookies on offense? Um, I feel like they're doing a great job. Um, we're all we're all building each other up to you know have the team that we want, so that's kind of where we're going, turning in the right direction. And then a little bit of specific house of them for you working with Des Bennett? Oh, it's been great. That that's funny. That he, he throws a nice ball as well. When you see all the changes, because right, you're watching from afar, you're kind of one of the people who knows still going to be here. What's going through your head when you see all the shift in the last four or five months from guys who are last year? What you're looking at? Just put it in God's hands and believe that he'll bring us to a victorious season with the guys that Coach Smith brings in the building. Do you wonder what happened when Matt's leaving, obviously, because you're a developer of the federal? Do you, start, do you wonder what that's going to look like? Because that's very, that's much more, like, you know, depending on who's playing quarterback, that has a direct impact. Right. Like, what goes through your head when you see that? I mean, it, I really don't, I don't, I don't really have, like, a great answer for you. It's just kind of just, you know, it's, it's the NFL, so. There's going to be someday where I'll maybe we'll have to play with someone else. But Matt was a great guy, and I love my year with him. And if we do come back together, we, you know, it'll be the same thing. Oh, I told Art early, man, it's the best idea we ever had, man. Come out here and practicing with the fans. It's beautiful. He give you a little extra juice, you know what I'm saying? And then you get a city something to, to look forward to. So it was good. Where are you now compared to a year ago? Like, uh, in terms of your readiness to play? I'd say I just a little more calm. You know, I was always ready to play. Just a little more calm now. I'm just taking it slow. Uh, each play letting it come to me. You know, I'm just making sure I get my communication out. We all communicate as a defense, but just way more calm this year. Short answer. It might not be the right time of year to ask this, but do you think Dean, now that with different personnel, new personnel, is going to call the game differently? Is, is able to put in more or different stuff, or just because it's here too? Uh, I just say wait and see. Yeah. Yeah. Wait and see. Mm. I mean, we still got we still got some of the same goals, but it's pretty much, you know, we want to be a physical team, we want to be a fast team, and then we just want to do things the right way. You know what I mean? We want to bring energy every single play, every single game. Uh, not, you know, that roller coaster is it's easy to get on, but we're trying to do this, trying to go forward. 
at all times. Since you've been here, some of the new guys leaning on you a little bit? I said we all lean on each other because it's a, it's, it's a bunch of new guys. It's a different group. It's pretty much about building chemistry right now and trying to play as fast as we can. Uh, last year, personally, you know, I didn't, I didn't feel the need to hang out, you know, and, and have fun because I wanted to, I, you know, it was football, you know, I wanted to get it right. I wanted to do it the right way. But this year, you know, like I said, it's, I'm a little more calm this year, hang out with the guy, you know, we can chat a little bit, you know, and uh, when we get downtime, obviously, not in the game, but chat a little bit and we're just having fun now. Yes, ma'am. Do you look at the season as you have something to prove? Every single year. I never look at another year. You know what I mean? Every single year is something to prove. You know, nobody's going to be perfect, but you're always striving for perfection. And that's exactly how I approach the game. Is there something specific in your game you want to improve on this year specifically? Everything. Everything. I, that's not, a, that's not a, a short answer. You know, that's, that's a real answer. Every single part of my game I want to improve on. Oh, it's great. Uh, just being out here in the bins. It's a great thing that Coach let us come down here to try to get used to the scenery, um, just take advantage of being at home. But, I mean, I love it. It's a, nothing better, really. You got energy today? Yeah, it's good. Uh, we always have a lot of energy uh, coming out the OTAs, making the most out of these chances we have. But to have the fans out here and have our family and close friends out here is just means more to let them see the work we're putting in right now. How do you feel about progress? What are you watching for to let you know there's progress being made? Uh, just communication. Right now we're looking for to over-communicate, make sure everybody's on the same page. Even if one person's wrong, we're all on the same page, it's all right. So, I mean, that's what we're doing right now. Um, just keep building, just building this brick by brick. When you look at this room, and you're new, but mm -hmm. it's a room that's, other than Ade, basically yeah. completely new. What was your expectation of what you thought this room would be for you? And what has it been? Well, every year you come in, it's a new team. So yeah. the fact that we have a, a lot of new guys doesn't really mean much. Um, the expectation is high for all of us. Uh, we're one of a few. There aren't too many of us that can play at this level. So coach makes sure we know that we are held to a high level and we hold each other to that high level. So we're going to keep pushing each other, keep pushing each other, get better and hold each other up. When, when you look at it, though, I mean, you're kind of the most experienced guy. You've never really been in that situation before. Like, how do, has that changed how you've had to approach things in some ways? No, not really. Um, I'm kind of used to being one of the older guys in the room. Uh, in New York, I was the oldest guy in the room for what felt like two years. Um, and then being down here, I mean, even from high school, it's, you got to keep being leaders. Uh, you, everybody's a leader on this team, and that's what we're holding each other to and making sure that we all are held to the same level. There's nobody that's held higher. Lorenzo, when's the last time you were in here? Whew, uh, rookie year. We had a chance to play here, to play here my rookie year. Did, did you have any memories when you came in here of perhaps a time you played when you were in college? Oh, yeah, of, of course. Uh, just thinking about the SEC and national championship. Uh, I mean, it's a good place. I, I love being home. It's Atlanta, so this is the home field for me. What's it like being in here today? Oh, amazing. You know, it's great to come back in here and get this, this feeling with this environment. You know, some fans out there cheering us on, you know, it's going to be exciting. You know, we also had to get that feel for it, like that home feeling again. So we come out here this year and do a lot of good things here. How are things progressing with the new faces? Oh, amazing. I love it. I'm loving it, you know. There's a lot of new, new faces, new receivers, new tight ends. So a lot of competitive, you know, we're going to be very competitive. And I like that Coach Art do that because it helped all of us grow, you know, as players, as, um, as players, as regular people on the street. But, you know, it's, it's amazing to me, you know, and I know it's helped me get better each and every day as I compete with some of the vets and even, some, even with the draft pick, too. So it's, it's going good for me. How much you know about Desmond River before he got here? What do you think of him now? The only thing I knew, I called him like, like Magic, you know, the one that, that, that took the Cincy all the way, you know. So I'm like, he got something up his sleeve. But I didn't know him too well, but I knew he was a competitive guy. And, you know, when somebody make it that far in college football, you know, like he's somebody special and he got the talent to come at the next level and do some things up here too. What have you taught him these few weeks? <laughs> he's doing his job, you know. Right now you can tell that he's developing, learning, learning the playbook. So by the time camp come, he could be playing fast out there and better at competing with um, the next quarterback. How much do you know about Jared Bernhardt's story, number 13? Anything? Nah, not too much. Not too much. He, he was a college cross player. 
Oh he yeah, one year. Bernie, Bernie, <laughs> that's Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. You know, I got like a nickname for him. But yeah, it's crazy though. It's crazy to me. But being that he was a lacrosse player, it's like he he tough. You know, he ready to hit somebody, ready to go after, ready to go in there and do the dirty work. And when he told us that he played lacrosse, so I was like clowning him and running around like I got a stick. And I was like, oh, all right, this is how we run around, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> but he's actually coming on fast. He learned the playbook fast, and he actually doing a lot of things that a lot of people didn't expect him to come in and do. Does he look like he can hang athletically? Yes, very, yes. He's fast, quick, you know. It's like a different type of quickness speed, you know. You wouldn't even you look at him, you think you're about to be slow, and then boom, he took off on you. So it's a, it's a good thing to have, you know, a secret weapon. <laughs> Yeah, nah, see, I love it, to be honest with you, I love it, like, when you're a person that like to compete with anybody, and that's what your whole life is, you know, you compete in the college, you compete in the high school to get that job, so if I know if I got to do what I got to do and compete against these guys, I can put myself in the best position for, you know, the coaches to throw me out there, so I could do and show everything that I was working on this past off season. Does it feel like, kind of like, all the team going Yes, yes, like, just like that, and that's how I took it, and that's how I looked at it, yup, that's how I looked at it, I was just like, once I started seeing all these new face people coming in, some of them I actually played against, you know, and I was just like, you know what, it's on now, you know. That's that's the level you got to go, that's the mindset you got to have, and you just got to control what you can control, and I'm just going to go out there and put everything I got on the line and let everything follow. Most importantly was the playbook, you know. That's one thing I wanted to do is just get the playbook down you know, inside and out so I could go to um, camp and just play fast as I can. Um, and also just like my route running, trying to get open, um, top of my route, and just doing all the little details that they preach about each and every day so I put myself in a good position. As a receiver, can you tell me the difference? And uh, this is your first time here since they replaced the turf. Can you tell the difference in this turf compared to your indoor facility or the turf you played on here last year? Nah, I look at it as turf as turf. You got the perfect cleats, you're going to stop and go anywhere you go. <laughs> you keep carrying that Ritter for a rookie nose to throw with pretty well, and as soon as he got it, he started learning it. He joined the rookie mini camp. Do you see that in him? Yes, yes. Um, Ritter didn't. Like each and every day he get better. And you could just tell because right now I'm on the side with him and we going to do jog through with some of the offensive plays and he's just coming in there now just like calm, relaxed. You could tell he's getting comfortable each and every day. The playbook, the, like how he's saying the plays now. And y'all I heard our plays, y'all be like, wow, how he remember that? So it's like, it's good for him, you know? And I'm just excited for him, especially for preseason because I know I'm probably going to get out there with him and we're going to have to do something to show everybody that he the guy. You're obviously not a coach, but do you feel for a rookie that perhaps he might a little bit more than rookies or can you tell that he's put in extra work? Um, you can just tell that he's going to put in the work. I wouldn't say that um, he know more than a lot of rookies because the rookies don't, they, they really don't know. They're just trying to get comfortable, trying to learn everything, especially with the pay book and everything. So, you know, it's like you could tell he put in the work. You know, they, they, they tell him to stay late. He got extra hours in with the OC and everything. And Marcus being, I always see him walking around with the quarterback. So you could tell that he's picking up quick because he come out here and he's showing it, making plays at 707. Y'all see what he just did. So, you know, he's just he's gonna be a secret and then when it's time for him to blow it, he's gonna do his thing. No problem.